Today we're going to make a wall mounted lamp out of iron pipes. This video is a design demonstration only. Working with electricity can be dangerous, so all electrical tasks should be performed by a licensed electrician, and any electrical project should be inspected by an electrician prior to plugging in. I got all the supplies for this project at Home Depot, and here are the critical components. I got a couple of these LDR pipe decor kits, which are a great way to get your iron pipe fittings. I use candelabra sized LED light bulbs by Cree because those fit really well into some of the larger fittings that I had. I used some candelabra sized cord and socket sets to do all the wiring. The LDR pipe decor kits are handy because the pipes come without labels in them and are relatively clean. They also have some specialty pieces like this five-way fitting that are really hard to find elsewhere. For the rest of the pipes, I picked out pieces from the plumbing section at Home Depot. Now there's an unlimited number of ways that you could design lamps with iron pipes, but it's really helpful to lay out all the pieces first and come up with a strategy for which pieces you're going to assemble first. That way you don't end up twisting the cords around and breaking them once you've already wired them together. I will put a list of all the pipe fittings that I used on my website. The only tricky part of this project was getting the extra lengths of wire to fit inside the pipes. That's one of the reasons why I use larger diameter pipe fittings at the ends near the bulbs. Now this lamp is a little bit heavy, so I used a stud finder to find the location of the studs behind a drywall before screwing it into place. I added a plug-in dimmer so that I could control the lights simply by touching the metal. I really like the modern gothic feel that this lamp has, and I'm excited to try different configurations of pipes as well. I'm also working on a very minimal copper version, which I'll be posting on my second channel. Be sure to check that out in the link in the description box. For more detailed instructions, check out my website, and if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out some of my other videos, and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks, bye.